Secrets of the Invisible Spiritual World, Yeshua Coming, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 38-54 But God gives it a body just as He wished, and to each of the seeds a body of its own. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one flesh of man, and another flesh of beast, and another flesh of birds, and another of fish. There are also heavenly bodies and earthly bodies, but the glory of the heavenly is one, and the glory of the earthly is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars, for star differs from star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown a perishable body. It is rise an imperishable body. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in the weakness. It is rise in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. So also it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living soul. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural, then the spiritual. The first man is from the earth, earthly. The second man is from heaven. As is the earthly, so also are those who are earthy. And as is a heavenly, so also are those who are heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthy, we will also bear the image of the heavenly. Now I say this, brethren, the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of the eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised, imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable must put on the imperishable, and this mortal must put on immorality. But when this perishable will have put on the imperishable, and this mortal will have put on immorality, then will come about the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. People can only believe and understand what they see and what they know. What I do not know and cannot see with my eyes is truly difficult to believe and I cannot understand. Now we live in this real world. The being that I call myself is composed of a small sperm from my father and a small egg from my mother through the combination of the sperm and the egg, through the chromosomes within them and through the X and the Y chromosomes. If you have XX chromosomes, you are born as a woman, and if you have XY chromosomes, you are born as a man. You live on this earth with your own DNA through the genes called the DNA in each chromosome, through your mother, mother's genes, and your father's genes, and through the chromosomes within them. An embryo created through sperm and egg begins cell divisions from that moment. All of this has the unique DNA based sequence of humans created and designed by the Creator Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua. 
and this base sequence consists of more than 3 billion ATGC genetic base sequences and is a part of the work of the Creator God every day and moment. By God, all cells divide, degenerate, and are created again every day to form humans. In particular, right next to the human heart, there is an invisible entity called the soul. This being called the soul is invisible to the eye. But the Creator Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua created the humans from dust and breathed a soul into them, so that they live forever as spiritual beings. We all came down from heavens to this earth in God's time, in God's way, by God's powerful choice, by God's powerful love and grace, and according to God's powerful creation purpose. Regardless of what color one's face is, what the language one speaks, age, gender, or facial color, the size, weight, and the value of the human soul are the same in the Creator Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua, and are perfect in the eyes of God, so beautifully created. You, who are reading this right now, are so perfect so beautiful and so precious to God that He sent His only begotten Son, Yeshua, to die on the cross and you are loved by God. None of the life created by God dies. It's just that the forever home is different. There is a place called the heaven at the end of the universe. It is not possible to reach the invisible end of the universe using physical methods and the physical force. Not only do we not know where the ends of the universe is, but it is so far away that no one in this world has been to the end of the universe using physical force. There is a place called hell under the earth. When we live on this earth, we live under God's strong pr protection, but when God's judgment falls in God's strong way and time, and each person graduates from life, no one knows where each person will go. Above all, because heaven is outside the universe, you must go up when escaping this earth. Yeshua is the real God. The name of Yeshua contains the meaning of the Creator. The name of the Creator, which means crea creation, destruction, salvation, knowing, knowledge, and experience, is the included in the name of Yeshua. You must have a true faith in Yeshua, and this true faith includes suffering, persecution, and even martyrdom through faith in Yeshua. Devotion and love are also included in the faith in Yeshua. True faith in Yeshua and true repentance are essential conditions for salvation. Without true repentance, it is impossible to please the Creator Yahweh God. If you do not have a true faith in Yeshua, you cannot please the Creator Yahweh God. Yahweh God, the Creator, sent His only begotten Son, Yeshua, to this earth as a peace offering between God Yahweh and mankind. Yeshua's name and Yeshua's blood contain tremendous spiritual authority and power. If you have to deal with the evil spirits over some spiritual problem, proclaim Yeshua's name and Yeshua's blood. The Creator Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua created visible and invisible beings. God created angels belongs to heaven. Those angels belong to heaven, and their existence was also created for the purpose of angels. God created a human in the image of God, but among the angels in heaven, the fallen angels during the time of Zerad violated God's law and had relationships with the humans, and the Nephilim were born. 
the Nephilim may have been served and ruled as kings at the time, but the book of Enoch states that when they died, they became evil spirits because their existence came from between the holy angels of heaven and the humans. The fallen angels were imprisoned in hell until the great final judgment of the world. So God created a hells for the fallen angels. When the souls of Nephilim die, they became evil spirits, and their dwelling places are hell and this earth. They haven't even seen heaven. The existence of evil spirits is real, and the evil spirits can capture humans. You can, evil spirits can grab a human's eyes ears, heart, spirit, and the whole body. There are many levels of evil spirits from, begin, from beings with very weak spiritual powers to those with very strong spiritual powers such as those on the right hand of Satan. Evil spirits are given the authority to legally attack humans through their sins. When evil spirits start attacking human no one knows that no one knows no one knows what kind of accidents will happen every spirit can move in and out of the human body they every spirit can grab the eyes the ears the tongue the heart the spirit and even the body and in many different ways Evil spirits can capture people according to their sins. Proclaim the name and blood of Yeshua. Walk with God every moment, every day. There are countless invisible emotions in the people's hearts. Above all, each person has sin. The sin that God considers first is the sin of not believing in Yeshua. The most serious sin is not believing in Yeshua. Sin, guilt, jealousy, greed, idols, bitterness, unforgiveness, etc. These things have a spiritual weight. When the soul and body are separated due to this spiritual weight, when you graduate from life, you fall endlessly downward. God wants His sons and daughters to know all these spiritual secrets, become the wise, holy brides of Yeshua, who judge, choose, decide, and prepare for themselves worthy of heaven. The prayers to receive Yeshua, God, Yahweh, God, I am a sinner. I believe that Yeshua is the Son of God and that He has the authority to forgive sins. At this moment, I open the door to my heart. Ya Yeshua God, please come into my heart to forgive my sins and be my God from now and and be my God from now on and forever. Thank you. I pray in the name of Yeshua. Amen. When you receive the Yeshua, Yeshua God immediately enters your heart. And the Holy Spirit of truth also immediately enters your heart. The Holy Spirit will tell you everything about the truth. The war against the evil spirits begins when you begin to truly believe in Yeshua. If you do not truly believe in Yeshua, you will go to hell on your own even if evil spirits leave you alone. So evil spirits play with the people who do not believe in Yeshua every day and every moment. They train very hard to become people of hell. It makes them see, hear, and speak, and makes them worthy of the people of hell with their eyes, ears, tongue, heart, mind, and the whole body. From the moment you receive the Yeshua, you are given new wine in new wine bottle. Start believing in Yeshua and you must be become a new creation. You must keep your eyes, ears, tongue, heart, mind, and the body holy, clean, and pure. You must keep your soul, body, mind, and heart holy, clean, pure, strong, bold, mature, as light, air, 
and as a clean water. Those who belong to heaven always have a spirit, spirit of a service, dedication, and service. These are people who know how to consider others first, are humble, and have a mature souls. That is why on this earth, the Holy Spirit gives us a spiritual training every moment of every day. In order to become worthy people of heaven, God provides a spiritual training as we walk together every moment of the day. If you know from start to finish, you have nothing to fear or worry about. Absolutely rapture, otherwise it is martyrdom, the end. The rest all worship Satan, according to Book of Revelation chapter 13. Satan wants to use all his skills to capture the human brain and capture the human soul forever. The warning about the mark of Satan is recorded in the Book of Revelation through Yeshua's disciple John. He has recorded every thing that happens when you receive the mark of Satan. The number is 666. It is a human name. The mark of Satan is all around us now. On February 2nd, 2011, one of the archangels came to see me. The Holy, He told me about the secret of the Guan Mang Sahon. Government around the world wants to kill people's souls with RFID chip. Radio frequency identification chips governments around the world will be very focused from now on to put RFID chip on people. Radio frequency identification chip on the people. Do not eat, do not take, and do not receive anything contain RFID radio frequency identification chips. It contains a nano level of the chip. When people receive the mark of Satan, humans themselves become interfaced. Humans themselves become walking Bluetooth. Humans themselves will be able to receive the frequencies through satellites. Needle. The needle. 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 And E E D L E needle. Needle contains biotechnology that edits genes. The three billion human genes based sequences consisting of A T G C are cut into small pieces with DNA genetic scissors. Then other genes are inserted with a purpose. So those who have been taken the needle are no longer pure human beings. You have become a human GMO, human genetically modified organism. You have become a human GMO. When human DNA is damaged, rapid aging occurs and the cancer occurs. Because human DNA is damaged, you do not know what will happen in that person's body at any time. Because DNA has been broken down, no one knows what will happen in the body at any given time depending on the development and the situation of the nervous system, circulatory system, digestive system, etc. I told you not to take needles under any circumstances or environments. I explained everything based on the vision God showed me. Evil spirits are all around us. When you receive the Yeshua, a protective films like a corona halo is created around you. Although it is invisible to the eye, however, when people commit sin, evil spirits can legally attack. When you accept Yeshua, the spiritual war against the evil spirits begins in honest. Number one, the, na the name of Yeshua. Number two, Yeshua's blood. Number three, cross. Number four, tongue, pure heavenly language.
Number five, word of God, the word of Bible. Number six, precious blood of Him. Fight against evil spirits spiritually by directly confronting them with these spiritual weapons. Yeshua is the real God. Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, God wants His children to know spiritual mysteries. Become Yeshua's holy brides who walk with God every moment of every day. Only Yeshua.